that just to let everybody know, this podcast was recorded back in November. Uh, yeah, since COVID hit, I've been busy recording anywhere from one to six episodes a week, and I'm still catching up, getting each one listed each week. But this one was recorded back in November, which I wanted to make that point because, well, when you listen to it, uh, you understand why I am telling you this. Yeah, I've been doing this podcast for, oh, good Lord, I just realized, six years now. And I have met so many interesting people while doing this, and it's just amazing. I love it. This gentleman that I have on on this episode, I wanted to talk to him about the one, well, actually, two two of the companies that he owns. That's right, two. Well, I uh, was surprised because it's not two. He actually owns three companies. And I actually have Joe Ayler from Tar Heel Construction Group. He is on with me co-hosting this one. And to just the way these three companies tie together, it's amazing. And I can honestly say, you know, as well as with Joe, uh, this gentleman gives a lot back to the community. So on this episode of Harford County Living with Rich Bennett, I had the opportunity to sit down and talk with the owner of, you ready for this? Bumble Junk, Chesapeake Shredding, and Chesapeake Medical Ways. So we're going to hear from Paul Majewski. Stay tuned. Instead of a sponsor for this particular episode, I want to ask everybody to do something. I want you to leave reviews of, you know, good reviews for companies in your area. You know, actually, on this episode, go and leave a review for Bumble Junk, Tar Heel Construction Group, Chesapeake Shredding, and Chesapeake Medical Ways. Hartford County Living, too, if you feel like it. But I, I, I want everybody to do this because I am going to be starting something and... I'll keep everybody informed when it actually takes place. But reviews are very important. You know, we have things out there um, that people vote on. You know, for example, Harford County Living, I did a Community Choice Awards. You have the best of Harford. You know, that's great. But keep in mind, that's people voting on stuff. The reviews are something that it tells people how great, these companies are or how bad, um, but it's something that's very important. I was just going through all these different companies I've been following and looking at some of the reviews, which one of the things that shocks me is how many people don't even have reviews set up for their company. And you look on social media, you always see people asking for recommendations. You know, recommendations for a plumber, recommendations for somebody that does HVAC, uh, recommendations for a roofer. And I'm always recommending, you know, the people that I know. But it helps when people can look at the reviews and see from other customers or hear from other customers about the great work that these people do. So if you can, please do it. Go to Google Reviews, leave it on Facebook, Yelp. Uh, I believe Home Advisor, Trip Advisor, wherever you know, there's so many different platforms. As a matter of fact, keep your eyes open because I am going to be setting up on something on Harford County Living where you can leave reviews about companies as well. Welcome to Harford County Living with Rich Bennett, coming to you from the Freedom Federal Credit Union Studios. Each week, you'll hear interesting interviews, commentary, discussions, storytelling, and more. Here's your host, Marine Corps veteran, professional DJ, entrepreneur, podcaster, and my father, Rich Bennett. I'd like to welcome everybody to Harford County Living with Rich Bennett. Today, I am joined by... A gentleman that's been on the podcast several times. He's helping me today. Joe Ayler from Tar Heel Construction Group is with me. And we have a guy on that, God, when's it, I've contacted you a while ago. Yeah, I, I think, think to try to get you on. Over the years. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Paul Majewski, who has Bumble Junk, Chesapeake Shredding, anything else that we don't know about? And Chesapeake Medical Waste. Huh? And Chesapeake Medical Waste. 
Okay, that's new. I didn't know about that. Yeah, we, we're a couple years old, but it's tailored, um, you know, teamed up with Chesapeake Shredding. It's a, a sub sub business that we uh, are certified medical waste haulers um, where we take medical waste away from doctor's offices and um, dental firms and pharmaceutical companies. Is there a lot of companies that do that stuff? Um, there's a few. But uh, you're the only local one. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. So Sarah Cycle, who purchased Shreddit, um, uh, they basically package deal uh, shredding and medical waste um, together, okay. and um, they were targeting my clients. So we just started a medical waste company and brought all of our doctors under under one contract. Smart thinking there. Now, how has that business been affected by COVID? Um, it's staying steady. I would have thought that uh, the medical waste business would have boomed in my sector, but it, it ha- really hasn't locally. It's actually maybe pulled back a little bit because during COVID, um, the, a lot of the dental offices and doctor's offices, you know, limited patients. So right. their volume actually went down uh, because of COVID. Uh, I'm sure the larger hospitals um, may have seen an uptick, uh, based off of testing, like the, yeah. some of the pharmaceutical companies that we service, there's been an uptick, but uh, very, very marginal. Um, a lot of patients were staying out of the doctor's offices and hospitals because of COVID. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's definitely the volume has gone down in that business a little bit. Well, the good thing is at least the, there's doctors are starting to get people coming back in. Yeah. For well, now. And especially if um, once the this election kind of gets sorted out, if – if Biden, which it looks like Biden's going to get in, and the yeah. Affordable Care Act continues to to stay in place, then I think that'll continue to drive that kind of medical sector. Yeah. You. So as a small business, yeah. we're, you know, we're constantly growing. There's been um, a lack of quality service from some of the larger uh, medical waste companies in in the in the country, and so you're small mom and pop or, or small doctor's offices and, and dental offices, you know, are just looking for a better service, somebody that they can call and they get a live person to answer the phone. When they send an email, they get a response back. So that's right. why a lot of businesses turn to us is, is for the customer service uh, side. So what exactly is medical waste? Uh, medical waste. So we do, uh, we Provide sharps containers for people with uh, for the needles. I'm sure you see mm-hmm. them hanging on the wall. Um, uh, anything that has um, uh, pathogens, um, uh, blood or um, uh, human waste on it needs to, needs to go into a medical waste container. So we we either haul to an incinerator or an autoclave, um, and they uh, properly sterilize and dispose of. Um, all the medical waste that the doctors and dental offices and even tattoo shops. Think of all those needles. Oh, I with that. Um, you know, we, we service a lot of tattoo shops as well where, um, you know, they when they're done with a needle on a patient, they put it into uh, uh, basically a, a sharps container that has um, a trap door that keeps people from sticking their fingers in and, and, right. and protects, you know, the, the employees. Um, and we haul those to incinerators as well. Now, with resident, because I mean, you know, you some have some residents, people that live at home that have that. Do you service them as well? We sure do. Even really? um, some daycares, um, school systems oh, where kids day. have um, diabetes for, yeah, you know, and and they'll have them in um, for the school nurses. Uh, so so you know that's stuff we can provide as well. Wow. Yeah, it's something that you don't often think about. No. Where does it go? And and. And kudos to you for coming up with a, a business and a, and a yeah. solution for that because it's um it kind of reminds I don't know if in Fight Club where <laughs> where Brad Pitt and Ed Norton uh, hop the fence to get the waste to build this or to make the soap. See now you're going to yell at me because I've never seen that movie, man. Oh my gosh, that is a must. Remember that where they, they, tell, is, they, yep. they get the bag of medical waste yep. and I guess it's fat or whatever and they make the. They they make the soap out of it, but anyway, um, now you gotta yeah, watch I, that movie. <laughs> you don't often appreciate, um, you know, as, as far as you know, shredding to speak of Chesapeake shredding and 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 medical waste and, and just trash in general. I think we've got jaded as a society um, 
just throwing stuff away yeah. and, and kind of even even with even with plumbing in in, in third world countries where they, where they have no modern plumbing you, you kind of just flush the toilet you throw the needle in the trash you know the mm-hmm. the, the medical waste and you kind of just throw it in the bag and forget about it but um yeah it, it's nice to 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 realize that a lot of this stuff is being disposed of properly so with the medical because i know with shredding you guys are you do um like a shred day or whatever some people yep. call you do you do that with medical waste as well no we i we haven't um a, done a medical waste day per se um okay. i I'm not even sure how that how that would really <laughs> well, really I'm look just, like. Yeah, but, yeah. I, um, I'm thinking of the uh, residences, and the only reason I bring it up with, with being in the Lions Club, one of our big things is diabetes research. Yep. And I know we've had people, and I, even and I've told our members, no, don't take this stuff, but they'll donate syringes and every or needles and everything and. Uh, like a drug, to, like yeah, when you get back like your medication, that and, stuff. You know, or if, if so you then have. we need to dispose of it. And the only thing I knew of at the time was I think what the sheriff's office or something does like the pill day or whatever. Yeah, they do the the um, prescription, the drug take back days. I think yeah. Harford County just had one recently. Um, yeah, so that's something we do provide where we can go to a residence and and pick it up and. Um, uh, and properly dispose of and yeah. leave them um, a certificate saying that it was it was uh, it's basically a chain of custody um, right. for them. So a lot of times we see uh, these patients take them directly to their doctor's office okay. um, and and dispose of that way. But we do have quite a few um, patients that um, call us, and it's very irregular. Um, right. they, they a home's really not going to produce much wet medical waste so they might call us every couple of years um with a small mm. sharps container that's full um so but you know your doctor's offices some of them are on a every other week schedule some of them are on a one week ske- one once a week pickup and then your lower volume um doctor's office and dental firms will go to a you know every bi bi-monthly or quarterly schedule right. uh, for that stuff um so and it, it keeps us in there, you know. I, our drivers are in there, and and even on the selling side of it, when we're in there talking into these um, medical facilities, talking about shredding and and their um, document protection, it's a, it's a great segue. It's all all covered by HIPAA, so it, there's yeah. um, uh, so much crossover between the two businesses. And then even with Bumble Junk, you know, when you get into the, the it's yeah. it's you know you're you're just talking trash, just a different type of trash. Um, so, you know, that's – I've kind of gotten myself into these multiple <laughs> um, tra- different types of trash business. Um, so, in other words, you're saying you haven't been you, – you, you keep just getting more businesses because you want to keep busier. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah, that, that's exactly <laughs> it. Well, you can – I can uh, provide a great service for yeah. – um, three great services for the same customer. Right. Um, and, you know, th- so I'm nice. turned into a one-stop shop, you know, uh, you call me and and we'll get you scheduled for that all three awesome, at the man. same time if if you'd like yeah. you know so it's it's been pretty wild and I, and I can attest to that we we recently moved and and had bumble junk out to the house to to clean some junk out of the house and and I think um that was a big kind of re- release of a burden that we had because mm-hmm. we had piled up so much old furniture and just stuff out in the shed and it was um, it was nice to be able to call Paul and, and Bumble Junk and have them come out and just kind of re- re- just release us of that of that burden to, to kind of move all that stuff or get rid of it. Um, and then, you know, as we were moving to take all of our sensitive documents down to my office, because Tar Heel Construction Group uses Chesapeake Shredding to shred all of our all of our paper um, and, and to be able to dump that in the. In, in, in the bin there um so yeah that, that was a big Makes uh, a lot easier yeah it does and you does. started off with chesapeake shredding right that's correct that was my first business chesapeake shredding is about to turn 10 um so with, only 10 only 10 years old God, i thought yeah. you were around longer than that nope that nope. wow 10 years ago um i uh my wife was um uh giving birth to our third child and i lost my job um two weeks after he was born um Man. so you know, kind of. My wife was a stay-at-home mom, and and we just 
uh, got together and started brainstorming ideas of what we were going to do and um, put everything on the line, leveraged everything we had, uh, and started Chesapeake Shredding. And it's, uh, you know, Britt and I really have, uh, have been blessed with how it's taken yeah. off. But a lot of that's support from the community. You know, the, um, our customers, and, and there's a couple customers come to mind. Joe's one. Joe, you know, tells everybody about us. He's mm-hmm. been a, a phenomenal referral partner. Um, Cheryl Davis Cole, who owns Beacon Staffing. Yeah. I mean, I remember going into her office. She was one of our first clients. Um, and I'd go into her office, and, and every time I showed up, you know, because I was running a truck. We were a one-man show at one point. Right. Every time I showed up, she'd have a, a post-it note, and she said, Hey, Paul, this is my friend so-and-so. You know, this is their company. I already pre-talked to them. They use Shredded or they use Iron Mountain. Um, you that know, was the other one I couldn't think of. Yeah, th- you know, give them a call. They're ready to switch to you. You match their price um, and and give them a good service. And, and so over the course of a year, Cheryl closed me 12 new customers, at least 12 wow. new customers. And it was just amazing. But it was, there's so many people in Harford County, small businesses that were like that. Yeah. Um, you know, even, even within the um, government sector, the, the, our county councilmen, you know, were, were utilizing our service and, and spreading our name to different biz- small businesses. And, and our county has just been, um, it's just built by all these small businesses that just support each other. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's been phenomenal. You know, one of the things when I used to I used to sell Toshiba copiers, and we also had shredders that we were trying to sell to our clients. Yep. And it was the guys with the truck was our biggest competition. We had I had a hard time trying to sell an office shredder to a company. Finally, where I just gave up on, I was focused on the copiers. But explain to everybody why it's so much easier and better for them to use you than saying buying those. Big shredders. Yep. So, so the big, the big savings. So the big shredders are expensive. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the big savings is on labor. Um, mm-hmm. When you start factoring in, all right, I have an an employee that is shredding two hours a week. Um, that's not doesn't seem that much, but when you start looking in, you know, you, now you're talking eight hours a month. And I would say the average salary of those per uh, of that said person is going to be between, you know, 15 and probably $20 an hour mm-hmm. once you factor in, um, you know, all your payroll expenses and all. So if you got a $20 an hour person at eight hours a month, you know, <laughs> you're talking $160, which is way more than a monthly contract for yeah. our company. So, you know, it's just, um, uh, to all to shred on site to hire our company tends to be about a fifty percent savings for a small office that has say five five employees. Right. And the other advantage of that is, I guess, uh, if that shre- if that company has a shredder, that shredder breaks down, then they got to pay to get it fixed. That's correct too. So and now and, and with with Chesapeake Shred, Ch- Chesapeake Shredding, right? Yep, that's correct. Um, is it just paper, or do you guys do, like, CDs and all that? Yeah, too? so anything with information on it. Um, so when we shred hard drives, I we was, shred— Get out of here. No, cell phones, laptops, iPads. Um, we shred—we um, wow. even shred materials. Um, say a company makes a run of a—we'll say clothing. Right. That um, was defective. But it is uh, – we'll, we'll go with police uniforms. We shred police uniforms. Um, you know, we wow. sh- we shred for the Ravens. So, you know, if they have merchandise that they don't want to – they can't throw in the dumpster because they don't want it just being distributed to the general public, mm-hmm. um, you know, we can shred those type of materials as well. I bet you got a lot of government contracts, don't you? Uh, we have we have a few. You know, um, we're huge over on the um, on APG. Right. Everton Proving Ground has been a, a huge supporter of our business for both Chesapeake Shredding and Bumble Junk. Um, you know, we've got uh, quality employees. That um, the big thing is they have problems getting um, people on base um, because of security reasons. So we've got all these um, security checks in place um, and. You know, we do a ton of business uh, federally as well, but we do state and and local county. 
Well, I'm glad to, I, that I knew that you do computers and hard drives. Oh now yeah, because... we do a lot. <laughs> we do a lot of. Com- I mean, we get pallets at a t- wow. at a time. Um, I think um, we actually just did a, a huge job. I think we did like 64 Gaylords, so about 2,000 pounds a, per pallet of just monitors recycled. So we do a lot of electronics recycling as well. Even the CRT monitors. Yep. Really? That's correct. See, and that's always because I get I used to be in the IT field, and people are asking me all the time. Hey, Rich, it's well, expensive. To, yeah. to the CRTs are a, a whole nother up ball game. It people is an expensive always process. Trying to pawn their CRTs, their old printers, or their old computers off on me. It's like, no, I don't do that anymore. Yeah. Now I know where to send them because that's um, especially for the companies because a lot of companies. That's another thing I hate it was going in. Erasing that old hard drive, re-imaging it, and everything was a pain. In the- what about small appliances? Um, so we recycle them. That's that's more of a oh. bumble junk side of, of things. We do refrigerators, uh, washers, dryers, freezers, um, do a ton of um, that. But they all go to a recycle center. So with that, because I know a lot of companies that recycle the stuff, um, it's – I mean, how does that work? I mean, you're just taking it to a recycling center? Yeah, so we, we use multiple recycling outlets. So, okay. um, you know, Chesapeake Shredding runs, because we do a lot of recycling with Chesapeake Shredding as well. And mm-hmm. we're running our trucks northern Virginia up through Philadelphia wow. um, every day. So um, we use numerous R2 recycling centers around the region. Um, and then we even have the trucking. You know, we've gotten large enough where we can tr- we're trucking stuff to um, – specific recyclers uh for the project wow now with the all right let's go to bumble junk a minute um because you guys are going and basically getting rid of people's junk although i don't like that word because sometimes there's some good stuff in that junk <laughs> it is so we and we utilize a lot of nonprofits, faith-based ministries i was gonna ask you oh um, so like fan of faith ministries and all that they've been fantastic they've okay. taken a lot of items from us um you know uh habitat for humanity is mm-hmm. another one we support um even stuff like uh we recently um i knew the boys and girls club um in aberdeen was looking for a new pool table. Um, so, you know, we came into one, a, f- a family was moving, and um, we were able to take it up and donate it to the Boys and Girls Club in Aberdeen. Um, wow. So, yeah, we're constantly moving stuff, and we do um, our best to keep as much stuff out of the landfill as possible. Um, that's been tough with COVID, though, as yeah. well. You know, a lot of the big um, – uh, nonprofits that we use shut down for COVID. So we were really turning to the small churches, especially in, the, in some of the inner city churches, um, to take, you know, clothing donations and um, some of the furniture that we couldn't get rid of, um, you know, in other avenues that we had use, used to. So right. a lot of times uh, we, we have um, numerous locations that we store stuff uh and I'm going to say junk, but it's, it's, you know, sometimes it's nice credenzas or a dresser. Um, we just donated, um, a dresser to a lady that, um, you know, reached out to us saying, Hey, you know, I'm in need of this. And, um, you know, it just (laughs) happened. I sent, shot her a picture and she said, ah, that, that's exactly what I'm looking for. And, and she came up and picked it up. Um, so, you know, we have, um, some of that we've even had bookstores, you know, we'll keep a, a supply of books in the warehouse right? and they come in, you know, and say, Hey, you know, I'll take all these books. And what they don't take, we take down to a paper recycling center. Um, and they, they sh- basically shred the books and, um, recycle them. I hope you have a huge warehouse. <laughs> we have a couple different locations. Okay. It's a nice thing about having a couple different companies is we have a few locations we work out of. Um, and, and it, helps our guys too because they're central you know yeah. we got a place in dundalk we got a place in cockiesville we have a place in joppa um you know we have uh two locations in far wow. Hill and one in jarrettsville um so sometimes it's it's you know regional you know where where we right. can get guys to drop stuff off um and a lot of times you know they fill the truck they'll leave um, the donatable items on the back of the truck and they'll stop at a donation center and drop them off before they go to the landfill Man. So who? So so they're responsible for making that decision on what's donatable and what's what's. Yeah, ultimately, um, if we don't have a manager on site, they got to be responsible. But it, there's it's a day of um, uh, 
uh, electronic communication now. Literally, our guys can FaceTime the office, yeah. you know, text a picture, text a short clip to the office and say, hey, this is what I got. Get working on on moving these items. Um, and, and that's how we... Wow. We do any it. anything any cool stories of, of special relics or antiques or <laughs> we have a lot <laughs> we have a lot of of uh good stories. Um we've we've come into some pretty wild um uh and sometimes dirty items as is pretty crazy. Um uh, but you know we've seen and it's you know, the more you're in business, the more crazier stories you have. Um uh, Chesapeake Shredding, we had an old business that was closing down, family-run business um, that was closing down, and they were empty in file cabinets. And in the back, um, underneath the file, the files was a bank envelope. And um, our driver decided, you know, he opened it before he shredded it. Um, it n- not a bank envelope, but, you know, those leather, the old leather, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. deposit envelopes. So he opens it, and there's a bunch of cash in it. So he gives it to the store owner, and um, I get a call later that day, and the guy was like, hey, just so you know, I tipped your guys um, big. Uh, your driver handed me $10,000 cash what? that was a, a deposit that was supposed to be made back in the 60s. Wow. Wow. <laughs> So you know we 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 come into some wild some wild uh, you know wild what the, stories. the thing is that's that is that driver that's somebody that's loyal and and honorable I mean how many other people would do that some I, people would just we keep try it. to no we try to find all you know our our employees are really honest that's um, I mean, that, honest you know, that's what I was, yeah um, and, that's and good though. we try to find people that that truly believe in you know what goes around comes around you know yes. and it's it's um, they don't want that on their shoulders. Um, so th- that's the type of people we try to hire and, and keep, you know, really good employees. That can be a lot on your shoulders. You, you sit, think about it, man. It's just, it, you hear about it, the stories all the time. Somebody's like, Oh, I, 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 I should not have cut that. I should have passed it on. Well, I mean, especially I, I knew there's a, there's a big uh, <laughs> flipping subculture out there now where you can find an old, you know, six pack of Coke bottles or, you know, an old glass or an old yeah. figurine, Italian something or other, and then you can get on eBay and you can get online and and, um, and flip it. So, I mean, having people that you can trust, you know, when That's they come key, across man. those items, you know, it is key because I know, um, yeah, a lot of people visit these yard sales and, and, um, go yard sailing just to find these little, these items that, that, that are considered to be junk. Yep. But really can be flipped for every 20, man. 30 yep. Bucks Somebody or, else's you know, treasure. That's right. Well, that's even, right. even in the junk removal side, and there's plenty of times people give us good items and it's like, Hey, please, you know, th- people want us to find good homes for the yeah. items. They don't re- want to get rid of them. Um, it's a whole thing. You know, if you see our guys load in our trucks, it may be trash. It may be destined for the landfill. But our guys are going to treat that thing. It, say it's an old lamp. They're going to treat it with care. They're not mm-hmm. going to just chuck it and break it. You know, that's that's somebody's uh, a, a personal relic that at one point they enjoyed. Um, so we we even treat people's trash with care. So the big difference with Bumble Junk and, say, these other – because a lot of people get the roll-offs, the containers. Yep. You you have guys that are actually loading the stuff in there. Then. That's correct. Okay, that's correct. And we have a roll off division as well um, for like our contractors right. and and um, uh, you know businesses that have the labor available or want to utilize their labor where they want a, a can to sit on on site for you know days on end or a month. Um, but you know the the core business of Bumble Junk is. You know, you point at it and we make it disappear. Right. Um, you know, you tell us what you want gone and, and we'll remove that for you. Um, I know, like, I got a crew I stopped in this morning and, you know, they were disassembling a, a large pool table to remove. Um, you know, Man. we're doing this pool table probably weighs six, maybe 700 pounds. It is a wow. big old pool table. So we got to remove the slate and everything. Um, this one will be destined for the landfill sadly but um you know we got to take it down to you know pieces um for that i know the last (laughs) time that we used bumble junk it was really a convenience for us i mean we had tvs that were still working 
um, furniture that was in good shape. And, and we just, it was just a convenience thing for us where we knew we could trust Paul and trust Bumble Junk that, you know, mm-hmm. that, that it would go somewhere, um, you know, meaningful. Um, and then on the, on the Chesapeake shredding side, you know, down at our office, you know, we've, we've got a, a convenient bit in the office. And I was going to say this earlier that, you know, all the personal documentation from my personal home, I take down to the office as well as all of my team. Right. So if, if, you know, instead of having my, you know, everybody on the team that knows that they can bring their documents to the office and, and have it safely disposed of, because there, there's a big trust um, yeah. factor in, in, in his side of the business as well. Data, privacy, um, uh, you know, my grandmother passed two weeks ago. We had to dispose of a lot of sensitive documentation. Um, and, and I was very grateful that I could take it to my office and know that, that it was going to be yeah. disposed of properly, knowing that Paul's running Chesapeake shredding. So, um, yeah. And that's, that's awesome that especially you provide that service for your employees too. We tried to, uh, encourage our businesses to do the same for their employees. Cause on average, a, a, um, identity theft, up, up, the average person will spend over 80 hours on the phone um, trying to correct yeah. um, an, an identity theft issue. Um, and, and so it's in the, in, um, the employer's um, uh, benefit you know, to, to allow them to utilize that service to protect their information as well. Because if, if you got to spend 80 hours on the phone, that's Just one, the stress time. is going to, yeah. going to affect, um, your employee. And then, you know, when they have to make those calls between, you know, nine and five. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's going to either happen during business hours or the employee's going to have to take off, um, or come in late or, or, uh, you know, do it on their lunch breaks. It, it's, Identity theft is a mess to deal with and clean up. Man. You know, one thing I do want to mention, because uh, and I, this is something that I admire about you and Joe both. You guys give back big time to the community. Um, and a lot of people don't realize how important that is. And that's something that, uh, you know, you got both. The matter of fact, right up the road here is a little garden. Uh the job town grow and I know you got well you what I think you donated mulch or you both did yep. or something. Um yeah we did just, all the compost hauling. Yeah. Um you guys even have that but I mean it's just and the other stuff God with you with Harford Family House. Um and, and now that you all this stuff you're finding you're donating to Boys and Girls Club to these ministries. That is awesome man. I I just God, I think it's just, uh, I think it's, you know, and I've said this before, I, I just think it's just part of being a responsible business owner. Yeah. Um, and, and that's my opinion of responsibility in business, you know, is, uh, you know, obviously the, the number one is going to be the, the, your brand and the health of the business, but, um, you know, to, to, to give back to yeah. the community in which your business operates in, I think is just. It, it, it just makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're you right. Want that kind of that, that 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 reciprocal kind of relationship. You know, the, the, the citizens of the county use our business, and then we in turn, you know, give, give back give to back them. to the community. Yeah. So it just, it just but unfortunately, sense. you see a lot of businesses that don't do that. Yeah, you, know. you do, and and that's that's you know on a person. Joe and yeah. I have had some big conversations about this um, even recently. You know, we're both. Um, live, work, and play. You know, right here in in Harford County, yep. and um, you know, we're we're both raising families here in the county, and we both want um our children to grow up in the best county in in the United States. Um, and the best way to make this the best county is for us to um chip in, you know, uh, physically, mentally, and financially to to create, mm-hmm. you know, a, a a quality community. And, um, you know, we've both kind of made that commitment to to grow, um, you know, here locally and, and to give back as much as as much as we can. And, and I like, thank you guys for that. And I hope I hope more people follow your footsteps seriously, because it, it, it's that's big. And a lot of people don't realize that, unfortunately. But it, it is 
it's huge. So I got, you know, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Um, you, you, I don't know if you know Alicia Hamilton from Founding Faith Ministry. Yep, very well. we, okay, we've talked about this several times, and uh, it, it's just it's amazing. And it's um, it's little it's nonprofits like that. She's she's becoming a big nonprofit. They're really yeah, making she um, is. you know, they're really making an impact. And and she just has um, just a a fantastic heart. And she's yeah. out there, you know, helping the most vulnerable, which is which is awesome. And then um, on top of that. She's not just about her nonprofit. Mm-hmm. Alicia is out there. You see her out there helping all these un- other nonprofits yep. as well. And and that's what um you know makes this community so great is is people around here aren't selfish like that. Nah. You know, that everybody's helping each other. I love going down there and helping her out sometimes. Even though it breaks my back, but that's okay. <laughs> Still love you, Alicia. <laughs> Paul, go ahead and tell everybody how they, uh, first of all, Bumble Junk, how do they get a hold of you uh, for that? Sure. So um, Bumble Junk, we have um, a fantastic uh, software online. Like if you wanted to us to show up at, at your house, you hop online on our website, www.bumblejunk.com, and that's Bumble, like the B. Mm-hmm. Um, so bumblejunk.com. Um, punch in your zip code and it'll pull up a calendar of our availability and you can just, that's awesome. You, so you can open up your schedule, say, Oh, you know, you know what? I got Wednesday at nine, between nine and 11 available. Let me book for tomorrow between nine and nine and 11. You click on it, put punch in your information, punch in the details and all you're setting up is a free estimate. So our guys come out, um, they, you show them what they, what you have and they'll give you the free estimate. And if you're good with the estimate, they'll go ahead and remove those items right, right then and there. Um, you know, if it's like, Oh, you know what? Um, I need to talk to my husband about it. Not a problem. You, you haven't committed to anything, you know, mm-hmm. give us a call and reschedule, um, you know, and, and you can schedule at, at your convenience or you can hop back w- online and, and schedule that way. Um, you can call us at 888-BUMBLE-JUNK. Um, that's another great way that comes right to our Forest Hill uh, office. And, um, you know, we can schedule you right over the phone. One key thing, and if I'm wrong, let me know, um, then I'll edit it out. But the big difference, because you, you see, uh, I see on Facebook a lot of uh, people offering to haul junk away. You guys are licensed, correct? That's correct. Licensed, and insured. insured. Yep. Okay. So you don't, yeah, that's, that's you see that. And, and kudos to those guys. You know, everybody has to start somewhere. Some people start smaller than than others. You know, I, I can think back to post high school days. Now I had an LLC, but I was doing a little bit of junk removal mm-hmm. on the side for some commercial, you know, it's kind of how, before I purchased Bumble Junk, it's how I, how I got into it. Right. It, it, you know, I, I did that back in the day, you know, there's high schoolers that, you know, help out their neighbors or, uh, uh their mother's friends or, you know, it's a great, great little way of earning, earning money. But the problem is if somebody comes in their home, your home and falls down your steps and gets hurt, you know, you're right. you're liable. It's your homeowner's insurance that's going to pay. Um, we're licensed, insured, bonded. Um, you know, we have uh, strong uh, young men that um, really take care of your home. You know, right. we're going to make sure we're not going to beat up your walls and, and bang in the stuff. Um, you know, they do a fantastic job of, of removing the items. Um, but, you know, we we are a um, professional business. Right. That's That's good. I, I can I can provide a a, a direct uh, testimonial for that. Um, quick, um, very respectful of my my personal home, and and I called Paul kind of at the last minute and called Bumble Junk at the last minute, um, and then they were able to come through for me. And when the when the items were gone, it was kind of like you don't realize it's like that. A lot that, of weight being lifted relief. off your shoulders. It, it is, yeah. man. And you don't. I, I'm a less is more kind of guy. So the, the less clutter and the less things that I that I have in the house that I'm not using, um, the better. But uh, yeah, uh, a direct testimonial here to uh, a, f- a fantastic uh, experience for sure. And from from what I've been seeing uh, from the reviews, the reviews are out of this world. So which is good, and that's something else. I'll talk about that on another podcast. Uh, Chesapeake Shredding, tell everybody how to get a hold of you for that. Yep. Um, you can check us out online, chesapeakeshredding.com. That's Chesapeake without an E on the end. Um, so it's www.chesa.com. 
P E A K shredding.com um, or 410-322-8700 is our office line. Um, so, you know, you can, we don't have a, a way of booking online for shredding, um, but that's, that's more of a call and talk um, or shoot an email right. and, and um, have a conversation. We base it off of, you know, the amount of stuff that you have, how many, bankers boxes or legal boxes or file cabinet file cabinet drawers of documents um that you have if, if you're looking to do a to do a purge so we do a lot of one-time one-time shreddings for people sometimes it's just somebody that had a small business at one time or um are moving and just have you know two file cabinets that over 30 years they've they've filled with stuff and they no longer need it um so we can come out to even even homes and and shred documents like that. Um, or if you have um, uh, you're currently using a shredding service, um, you know we can quote you over the phone. Um, you know just call with with what you're utilizing. Is it consoles? Is it 96 gallon bins? Is it 64 gallon bins? Um, are they little 24 inch under desk consoles? How many you have? How often we're gonna uh, you would like us to pick mm-hmm. up? Because some people. Every business is different. Some people, you know, want a once a week pickup. Other people want a once a month pickup. Some are once a quarter. Right. Um, so, you know, we just need, there's some details to, to get so we can give you an accurate price. All right. Why no E in Chesapeake? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> it's kind of a... It wasn't uh, important. You just shredded it, right? Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> um, so, when I started Chesapeake shredding... Um, it was we were only up and running for a few months, and we got a cease and desist letter from a the world's largest shredding company who had purchased a Chesapeake shredding out of Chesapeake, Virginia, back in the nineties. Um, so uh, you know, talked to a lawyer, and he said, you know, you can fight it, but you know, they've got corporate lawyers, and it could cost you at least twenty thousand dollars <laughs> or more um, if you know it goes to court. Um, you'll win, but you know, you yeah. don't want to do that. And, um, so I had told, um, had talked to a couple of, of, um, the guys in my circle. And I think I talked to three people and said, Hey, you know, this is what happened. We've already branded. I've already got, you know, um, uh, labeling done. I've already got business cards, you know, what should I do? And, um, you know, I, basically came up with the idea to just drop an E um, and and change the name or shred the E, if you will. Right. And, uh, um, you know, so I told three people. And then within a few hours, I had eight different phone calls from, you know, their peers that, I, that were also, you know, friends you know, right. of, of mine as well. Hey, man. I don't like it. You know, you can't misspell Chesapeake. You know, we're, we're in Maryland here. And I was like, man, that's brilliant marketing. I told three people and heard eight people yeah. uh, back from eight people. And literally everybody I talked to about Chesapeake, when they see there's no E on the end, they're like, how did that happen? So it gives me, you know, it's, it's always given me a, a platform to, um, to speak on. Yeah, and, <laughs> and to be honest, this is not the Bay. This is a, a document shredding yeah. company. So kind of um, reminds me of Joppa town. Some <laughs> people spell it with the E, some people spell it without. Yep. And nobody can win that argument, but That's everybody it. talks about it. Right. <laughs> so. and there, there's been a few restaurants. There's been a few businesses that, that have done that, um, over the years. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, it's worked for us. It's, it's brilliant stuck move. And, and you know it saved us a lot of money in in the very beginning of startup when yeah. when business was really tough. I was gonna say because I mean you, you already had that to change the name completely would have been that would have been cost more money too. That, that's correct. Man, all right. So what about Chesapeake Medical Waste? So Chesapeake Medical Waste um, E on the end of Chesapeake Medical Waste? <laughs> no, no E. There is no E. We, we that was thrown out it. too. Yep. Um, is there so, E on the end of waste. No, yes. I'm, yes, joking. I'm joking. <laughs> um, so same, uh, you can go to ChesapeakeMedicalWaste.com. Um, there is, uh, you can call us at 410-322-8700 as well. Um, that works very tight knit with mm-hmm. uh, Chesapeake Shredding. So um, we're run out of the same office office okay. there. So, um, you know, and a lot of times we're package dealing, um, you know, for, and it's a, it's a specific customer 
um, for the medical waste. You're, right. you're either a funeral home or a, um, you're a some type of medical office Doctors. to utilize. Yep. Yeah. To, or, or a pharmaceutical company. We have some big pharmaceutical companies um, that utilize us as well or labs. Right. Um, but you know, it's it's a pretty specific business, and but we can save people. We can do a package deal of, of two contracts all in one. You're you're calling one office for all your needs. Um, you're dealing, you know, with the same point of contact, and um, you know, it just makes makes your life life easier. And um, makes sense. Yeah, it's so, uh, and we can offer discounts if you package deal the services. Right. Anything else, Ed? Oh, I could talk all day. <laughs> <laughs> no, just uh, like, like I said before, we, 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 you know, Tar Heel Construction Group uses Bumble Junk in, in our contracting services. We use Chesapeake Shredding at, at our corporate office, and um, I've, I've used both services um, uh, personally. And, uh, yeah, uh, Paul is just a great guy involved in the community, runs his businesses very well, and, and we're gra- uh, glad to be a partner and uh, – and, to patronize his business and uh yeah to just just a good dude good good businesses mm-hmm. and uh a, a great Hartford County citizen it, it, uh while we're at it Joe tell everybody again how they get a hold of you uh Tar Heel Construction Group dot com uh roofing and exteriors 410-638-7021 so everybody listen you got a whole package deal here <laughs> you know, you can get a new roof you can get the gutters the the, the whatever exterior right Right, siding, curb appeal, roofing, and anything that, that encompasses the, the exterior of the home. So while they're doing that, then you can have Bumble Junk come in and clear out your house. The stuff that you've been taking to the office, they can go there and get it, you know, shred it. It's a whole package. You'll deal, be ready man. to go. That's I love it. it. Little home makeover. <laughs> hey, I just want to thank Joe Joe for the kind words. Tar Heel is a phenomenal partner. Yes. We refer them. Um, it's really nice to um, have somebody that you can trust where, you know, I, I, you know, we try to keep a a phenomenal name here um, in the community. And it's nice when I get a lot of calls. Hey, Paul, you know, I need the best. Who, who can I use for my roof? Who's going to do a great job? Mm -hmm. Who's going to be response responsive and leave, leave my home clean. You know, you know, people, when you hear Tar Heel, you don't hear, um, you know, of damaged lawns or shrubbery or anything like that. They, they, they really um, uh, have that curb appeal and leave your home beautiful. Um, so it's wonderful to be able to have a partner like Tar Heel to refer um, our work to. And it's awesome when I get the call, you know, from my customer saying, hey, you know, I asked yeah. you for a referral. You knocked it out of the park. Tar Heel did a phenomenal job. I hear that all the time about Tar Heel. Um, yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, where's that fifty dollars? <laughs> no, let's, but let's not forget about Rich with we, Hartford County Living. Ah, uh, it, it's fun doing it, man. But um, one of the th- everybody, listen, I want you to do something for me, and I never talked about this, but it's something big that I'm going to be launching. So you have Bumble Junk, Chesapeake Shredding, Chesapeake Medical Waste, and Tar Heel Construction. If you use their services, leave a review, whether it be on Facebook, Google reviews or wherever else you can leave reviews, leave a review about them because, number one, that goes, uh, Joe, I know for you, that goes a long, long way. Well, for, yeah. for both of our businesses, well, you, whether it's it, it's Google, it's Facebook, it's Nextdoor, it's word of mouth, the referrals, um, you know, j- just using our services, especially in, in the midst of COVID and um, – and just how it's affected the small business community mm-hmm. anyway, you know, any sort of positive kind of review or, or like I said, using the services um, uh, definitely helps. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that without a doubt. And follow them on whatever social media platform you can find them on. Probably going to be more social media platforms popping up soon. <laughs> so you might be able to find them on there too. You never know. Paul, Joe, thanks a lot, guys. Greatly thanks for having us. You. I want to thank Joe Ayler from Tar Heel Construction Group to, you know, coming on and actually helping me co-host again. It's always nice to see Joe on the show. And I also want to thank Paul Majewski for coming on and talking about, you know, what he does in the community and his businesses. And I just want to remind everybody, if you need 
anything for the outside of your house, roofing, gutters, windows, siding, whatever, contact Joe at Tar Heel Construction Group. I'll have the link in the show notes. And if you need any type of medical waste, shredding, or just stuff removed, go ahead and give Paul a call. You know, uh, what bumble junk, Chesapeake shredding, and Chesapeake medical medical waste. And I'll have links for, for all three of his businesses in the show notes as well. few things that I would like to remind you all about. Number one, please, 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 please leave a review of the podcast. All you have to do is go to lovethepodcast.com forward slash Harco Living. Again, that's lovethepodcast.com forward slash Harco Living. And while you're at it, if you can, please buy me a coffee. That's right. Buy me a coffee. Well, you're not really buying me a coffee. You're making a donation so I can keep this podcast going. Yeah, it's because of you and my sponsors that I'm allowed. Well, not I'm not allowed. I'm able to keep this podcast going. There's a lot that goes into it, a lot more that you, you know, you can even imagine. So just go to buymeacoffee.com forward slash Harco Living. Again, that's buymeacoffee.com forward slash Harco Living. And it's that time again. That's right. I am giving away a $25 gift card to Route 24 Ale House. The winner is going to be chosen on Wednesday, March 17th. My father's favorite holiday, St. Patrick's Day. And all you have to do is leave a uh, a review of the podcast. And you know where to go to to do that. Lovethepodcast.com forward slash hardcore living. So leave a review. I'm going to pick one person at random. That person will get a $25 gift card to Route 24 Ale House where you can go and enjoy a, oh my God, a kicking bourbon burger, which is out of this world. Wings have to be the best wings around. And all types of different beer on tap. So again, just leave me a review and uh, <laughs> good luck. March 17th, we're going to have the winner. I want to share an amazing experience I had with Tar Heel Construction Group when I needed to install a new roof on my home. Let me tell you, they are truly a cut above the rest. Tar Heel Construction Group is an award-winning residential and commercial roofing and exteriors contractor focusing on roofing, siding, gutters, and solar solutions. Proudly serving Baltimore, Hartford, and Cecil counties, they make it their priority to make a positive impact in the communities they serve first while providing exceptional services in roofing and exteriors. From start to finish, Tar Heel Construction Group proved to be a reputable and dependable contracted solution. Their quality installations and good communication kept me informed and reassured throughout the entire process. It's no wonder they have been voted Harford's Best Roofing Contractor and Best Home Improvement Contractor for three years running. But here's what really impressed me. Tar Heel Construction Group's commitment to continued service and registered warranties. They stand behind their work, ensuring that I have peace of mind for years to come. What's even more remarkable is their dedication to giving back to the community. They aggressively support and uplift the neighborhoods they serve, making a positive difference in people's lives. I feel incredibly grateful and humbled to have chosen Tar Hill Construction Group for my roof. They have earned my trust and respect for being the only contractor to be voted Harford's best roofing contractor and Baltimore's best roofing contractor in the same year. So if you're looking for top-notch roofing and exterior solutions, Look no further than Tar Heel Construction Group. Visit their website at tarheelconstructiongroup.com or give them a call at 410-638-7021. Again, that's 410-638-7021. Experience the excellence and community impact for yourself. Tar Heel Construction Group, building excellence one roof at a time.